Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Athens, and my name is Adam. Today we'll be talking about some things to do around Athens, Georgia. Um, some recreational things, some historical things, uh, things that you can spend your time doing around town alone with the family, um, for exercise. Uh, before we get into it though, please click subscribe um, so you'll be notified of all the new videos that we come out with. Now, let's get into it. Obviously, one of the main things about Athens, Georgia is the University of Georgia that is located in downtown Athens. Um, with that being said, I'm going to kind of focus on downtown initially because there's a lot that can be done in a two mile radius of downtown Athens. First, you're gonna have the campus of UGA, which itself is old, historic, and beautiful. Um, walking around, seeing the age, the architecture of these buildings at UGA is actually very, very beautiful artwork down here um, regarding the architecture of the school. At the same time, you can step off campus um, and be in downtown Athens, like literal downtown, um, where there's tons of after-hour activities for adults. There is the Georgia Theater that is actually directly across the street from me right now in my office. And that is where a lot of big name bands will come to play in downtown Athens. Um, it actually burnt down a few years ago and they've remodeled it to make it even better now. Um, Athens is historically a music town. Um, the Georgia Theater that is located on um, one of the main thoroughfares of downtown. On the other end of the same street, you have the Classic Center, uh, which also holds a lot of concerts, a lot of plays. Um, and then on the other end, there's a little club called the 40 Watt, which is a little more of a hole in the wall, a little more intimate setting for these musicians and bands that come in all the time to play in Athens. And then at the same time, you can walk to Sanford Stadium, which is the home of the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, on Saturdays, it is crazy here for home games. Uh, the stadium holds close to 93,000 fans. Um, I believe it is the 10th or 11th largest in NCAA. Um, so it itself is just a sight to see and it is located on campus. Um, so when you're walking through campus seeing buildings, boom, you happen upon Sanford Stadium, which is a beautiful stadium. Um, that is a lot of what you can do in downtown Athens, just walk it. You can park your car, hit all of these spots I just named on foot and you haven't really done much walking because it is all so tightly close to each other. Um, now we're gonna move a little bit outside of Athens um, to some other sites that you can go see. And when I say outside, I'm talking three, four, five miles max. Um, it's, you don't have to go far to hit these other spots. A few of the bigger ones are going to be Bear Hollow Zoo, which is kind of funny. It is a free wildlife path is how I would say it to where the animals there are those that have sustained physical injury or have some behavioral issues and they can't be released. Uh, so this is one of those places that it's great because it's free, you get to see some animals, um, but you also might see, you know, a three-legged alligator or an owl that is blind. So you, you kind of have to take Bear Hollow Zoo um, with a grain of salt. It's free, so you get with what's free. One of the interesting things of Athens is there is a tree that is called the tree that owns itself. Um, and it is a favorite landmark of people uh, to where when the property owner died, he deeded the tree to itself, to where this tree cannot be removed. It is in the middle of a road where there's tons of houses um, and it just has to stay there. So that's a very, a very interesting sight. Um, that is maybe half a mile at most from the downtown part of Athens. Another big thing is Sandy Creek Nature Park. Um, it is a massive, massive nature park for four or five miles outside of Athens. And you're talking about 789 acres that surround like a 280 acre lake. 
There is an entrance fee into the park. It's $2 for the day, but that gives you access to the entire park, hiking, walking, boating, canoeing. They have a beach at the lake, um, something like 15 miles of walking trails out there. So it is a very popular spot, uh, especially when the weather gets a little warmer, uh, unlike it is now where it's 38 degrees outside. And here in Georgia, we think we're gonna die when it gets that cold. The, um, another good place that is not about three miles from downtown is the State Botanical Garden of Georgia. And it is actually, you know, run by the University of Georgia, but it is, um, a very beautiful place. Lots of flowers, plants, um, nature trails, educational. You can have birthday parties there. Uh, very commonly used for weddings and wedding receptions. Along with the George Theater, I, I didn't mention that, it, it gets used for wedding receptions quite a bit too. Running through downtown Athens, there is the Oconee River. Uh, it actually branches off into three separate spots depending on where you're getting in in Athens. Uh, it is also popular for tubing, kayaking, fly fishing, you know, the standard river recreational activities. And it is, you know, you get in the river tubing in downtown Athens. Um, so there is plenty to do in Athens, Georgia, and you don't really have to go too far to do any of it. Um, you can also travel 30, 45 minutes out of Athens. Um, then you're talking downtown Atlanta. Uh, possible North Georgia mountains, Helen, Georgia. If you go towards South Carolina, you're at Lake Hartwell. If you're going south, then you're gonna end up at Lake Oconee. Um, so Athens is kinda situated to where you have tons of stuff locally to do, um, but fortunately you don't have to travel too far to see a lot of other stuff that Georgia has to offer. And that is our video for the day. Um, these are some of the main attractions here in Athens, Georgia. Uh, please click subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever a new video is released. Um, and we will have new ones coming out next week talking about specific sections of Athens, breaking it down a little minute for you. Um, look forward to seeing you then. Have a good day.